Okay, you know how the SP MK2 has the skip back feature? You know, where you could hit the button and whatever you were just messing with, recorded it to be there. The NPC does that too, you knew that? No, no, no. I did not know I that. I think I saw I something about that on there. But um, I don't, the yeah, I don't yeah. use that feature. Yeah, it's dope. All you gotta do is after you mess around with the NPC, I, I'm actually gonna air a video right now. Okay, skip back feature like the SP404 MK2 on the NPC is called Retrospective Record, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You see, I'm push play, nothing in the track. So I'm just gonna come back to the main. Um, I have some chops here. Go back to track mode. You see nothing is there. You're going to hit shift and record if you want to capture what you just played. Retrospective record. Basically skip back. Everything you just played is right there. If you want to keep it, that's all you got to do. It'll still be there. If you don't want to keep it, you just hit undo. And it goes away. Keep in mind, though, if you do that and then you hit play, you're not going to be able to go into retrospective record. Shift record. No events will pop up. Like if you're just playing around same way, you hit shift and record. Mm -hmm. It just pops up in your track, in your timeline, everything you just did. Wait, wait. So, so it's so on the NPC. It's on there all the time. Going, you just hit shift and record, and it gives you, the, and it basically gives you like the little flashback. Yes, as long as you wow. don't hit anything else in between. Wow, I had no. Clue. So, if you're just messing around with your chops and you're playing them, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you hit play, it just erased everything out the memory. Oh shit! Yeah, I found okay. out the hard way. <laughs> okay, but um. If you're just messing with your chops and you're like, damn, I want to see what I just played, that, that sounded kind of dope, and you hit shift mm. and record, it's going to be in that track view. Mm. And, yeah, true. as long as you don't push nothing else, and you can keep it, and if you don't want to keep it, you just hit undo and it's gone. Yeah, that's yeah. it. How does it know the tempo? Or it just takes, it's really just uh, the exact playback of what you just did. Is it? Actually, I don't really know, bro. To be honest with you, it sounded like. You know, but we all like to think when we playing, we in perfect tempo. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't test it, but it sounded like <laughs> yeah, got what I did. Play, yeah, the playback, all, the playback is, is never very forgiving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, I added like, later, though. Bro. Yeah, it's all good. Go on and start tightening up that um, piano roll. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm assuming it does because I probably had the quantize locked on anyway. So I'm I'm just gonna I'm you know I'm assuming that it would just lock it in like that, but I didn't really check to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I don't think a lot of people know about that with the. Uh... I'm yo I I I'll be honest with you on NPC I I ain't never heard nobody talk about that. Me neither. It's like because remember when um when the 404 came out right and everybody was and and nobody even knew what the skip back sampling was. Like people have, like people have, because I, 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 from my memory, I hadn't seen it on anything since it was on uh, Phantom back in like the early 2000s. That's you know exact. what I mean? We you was know, right, remember? Yeah, I do. I yo, I remember that very well because I didn't have the Phantom, but I went to my man's studio and he had one. And I'm playing around, and I was like, damn! I, I was like, I, I was like, that tune I just played was crazy. He hits the button and he, and he plays it back on the pad. I was like, yo, what the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> Let me ask you this. The skip back on the NPC when you use it, at, like honestly, how many beats did the skip back actually make? You, like help you make? You? Or was it like, oh snap, I'm just, I just really, I just figured it out, and I'm still kind of just trying to get get my feet set in. Number two. Because okay. <laughs> I, you know, I, because the, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, my yeah, boy. the minute I, the minute I realized it, because my boy put me on, I ain't uh -huh. figured this out by myself. Yeah, I yeah. had no clue. And my boy put me on like, yeah, you 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 ain't know you could do this. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I thought he was fucking with me. Yeah. But so I was so amazed and still am that I ain't even like you said, I ain't get to to even do anything with that yet. I was mm. just like, oh shit, this is possible. Yeah. 
And um, plus, I've been, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been making beats like that. But I went, when I, I went back to Koala this week for the little couple of beats I have been working on. Yeah. I was like, let me go on Koala because of the new mixer. So I haven't really been on the MPC since I figured that out. Well, since I know, I, I was told about it. Yeah. I've been on that Koala, I ain't gonna lie. I've been, I don't know, I've been interested in making backgrounds. So I've been literally <laughs> making backgrounds for Koala. <laughs> You know when you like the shit that you made, you you want to sit on that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my story. But um yeah, so but I could see it being like cuz what I use the skip back for on the MP, on on the uh, SP is like I literally like if I'm sound designing something or messing mm-hmm. with chops mm-hmm. Then I go and I use that. So that's, I'm good. I plan on using the, mm-hmm. the MPC the same way. Yeah, see, for me, for like the skip back on the uh, SP, like, that's literally how I was sampling. Like, I, I wouldn't even go into, into sample mode. I was like, yo, I could just press one oh, button. Oh, record, and have it right? Just fuck that. Like, I'll be playing something through. I'm like, yeah, do do do. Boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you it sounds like it's more solid on the um, 404, though. So, like, for me on the MPC, um, I would probably hit another button because, like, as soon as I do a take where I'm like not finished with it, I'm, I'd either hit, be on the record button trying to start it again, mm-hmm. do it, hitting that you know that countdown. I wouldn't, I would like my brain wouldn't trigger on and be like, wait, go back. Mm-hmm. Just, just out of old, right, old school right, habits, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I, on that right. one time, it would be cool, but like, for real, it's like at one point I told myself, no, if you right can't play it three that. times in a row, it's not even worth it. Like, you didn't play it right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But um, yeah. sometimes you do have happy accidents and you want to keep it going like how it was. Yeah. So I guess in those cases, as long as you remember, you know. Mm-hmm. But, and you know what I also didn't check? Because you know how um, with the SP, it even records, it catches even internal, whatever's coming in. So mm-hmm. even if you're just playing a sample... Yeah into it it catches that i'm not sure if the mpc does that i mean it's probably an audio buffer on the um 404 and the mpc but on the 404 it doesn't do that limit the midi track part though right it just drops the audio like when you re- when you hit that button yeah. skip back on the 404 it's right. like the audio of everything that happened it's like it, it doesn't that's have to be I smart think, you know what i'm saying yeah that's why i don't think it i don't think it will work with the um mpc so the logic also has like a, a skip back feature like the sp mk2 you know, whatever you're playing, you could just hit a button and go back and, and it's recorded what you just played. And MIDI, you know, it'll turn that. Yeah, I'm going to air that video right now for everyone to see. But all you got to do is right there in the menu is hit a uh, quick. No, capture recording. Mm-hmm. So when you when you turn that on in the menu of Logic, it puts another record button with a little square next to the main record button. So mm. now, once that's on, anything you played up to a certain amount of time, and it's a decent amount, you could also change the time, but if I'm sitting there for 30, 40 seconds and I'm playing around and I like what I just mm-hmm. did, I could just hit that capture, that record capturing, mm-hmm. and a whole pattern will pop up with the MIDI in it, mm. with mm. the notes in it. It's right. tight. So for Logic Pro on the iPad, what you want to do is, I have a uh, Chompler loaded up here just to grab some quick chops. You wanna go over here to these three dots and come down to customize the control bar and put on capture recording. And you'll see up here now you have another little recording in a box, a record button in a box. So now I'm just gonna hit some keys. And when I'm done, I want to see what I just did. So all I got to do now is come up here and hit this capture recording button. And here's everything I just did. What's, what's cool? So, um, I, uh, Dawn Beat has that too. Like, mm-hmm. I, like I was messing around. I didn't, like, I, didn't, I didn't know what the hell it was. Like I hit it and it's like the thing is called memory. And you hit memory and it literally it has like yeah. whatever it is that you played on the screen, whatever, mm-hmm. like whatever pad, um, you know, pad you press is on the screen. Like it, it'll, it'll, it'll just have like a whole little sequence for you. Like right. I, I haven't figured out exactly how to take advantage of that. But like when I saw it, I was like, yo, what is this? And then I hit play and I was like, oh shit, I just played this. <laughs> yeah. But 
but it, it plays it in the tempo that's set for the um that's set for the project. You know what I mean? So that's the only thing about that one. That's fire though. That's kind of yeah, that's tight. Yeah. I got I got a question for you because I seen this I seen this 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 week. It's kind of off the topic a little bit, but it has to do with the NPC. So the NPC, the memory on that versus like the memory on like an iPhone. You know what I mean? Like the RAM, I should say. Uh-huh. Like, w- would you say that? Would you say that the like the, the like the live the live two or whatever? Um, like, would you say that they're, they're comparable or would you say it's like the one is stronger than the other? The, the live one versus live two. No, 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 no. Like the live versus the iPhone. I have no clue. What's the RAM on the iPhone? I don't even know. I, that's why. That's why I was like, I know you, 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 you went to the text and spec. Because the only reason I asked is because I seen a video earlier this week mm-hmm. talking about if stem separation is ever going to come to the NPC. Well, and they were like, and they were like, because because I'm like, yo, we could do it on Koala. So yeah. I don't understand why we can't do it on on, on the MP. You know what I'm Stand saying? Standalone, I'm not sure. Here's the thing. So like, this using a neural network. So it's like it's using some stuff that I think you might need to have some type of internet connection with. Oh, but I, okay, I got you. But I'm not sure. I mean, it, it could be could. I mean, I just used it just recently, and it works like great on like Serato, <laughs> like the Serato VSC plugin. Mm-hmm. But on the NPC, I wouldn't expect it. So like, two gigs of RAM is a decent amount depending on your sample rate. But if you're 24 bit, you know, 48k, I'm not sure how much how much you get oh, out yeah. of that. As far as like splitting. I don't know if the NPC brain is like even meant to be like that. So it's like a, it's a Linux no, no. computer in there, you know. It's like a, it's just yeah. running Linux. Okay, no, no, I was just asking because I, I wasn't like a hundred percent sure on the um on the um, on the specs, and I just like I know I know you is like you I know you like more in tune with like the computer specs and stuff like that. I bet you'd be on the software though. The software could do it now, right? I don't, I, oh, I, oh. I, I, I keep it a buck with you. I never use NPC software. I bet you the software. So I bet you on the. So every now and then I use the software to get a VST plugin, right? Like if it's something mm-hmm. I can't get, I'll put, I'll put, you know, load the beat up, go straight to the software and load the, you know, load the beat up through the software. The exact same thing I did on the standalone, mm-hmm. right? And then put the plugin and play that part and then print it to a pad or resample it back. But yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah, you know, so say I put a, a sample in and then I go to the software and say split this into stems. So technically you could do it anyway, just. Printing, you know, uh, export the, tr- the part out you want, load it in Serato Sampler, and then, you know, you could copy that four times and make each one be mm. your splits and just print that back out. I got you. Yeah. You know? But it, that's the computer doing it versus yeah. the NPC. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, don't I, think, I don't think this generation of maybe the next generation to come, you know, because I'm sure it's in their ears, but. Yeah. 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 Plus, what, what? The the original X has what? Four gig of RAM, and the, the SE has what? Eight? Shoot, I thought it was two it's, and four. Yeah. It might be that. Uh, oh, you might not. Nah, you might be I right. I thought it was two and four gigs. I mean, the, the live right. could max out pretty quick depending on what you load into it, right? But, um, and then I think that's why it had just, a, it's just two virtual instruments, right? On the live one. And then the, the new ones have like four virtual instruments, I guess, right? It's, Is uh, it it's like, yeah, I think it's all based on the RAM now. Like on I how much you could get. It might be six on the new ones. I know, I, I think nah, I only I do two on mine. On the live two, I'm thinking. Yeah, I got one. So I got the lowest. I mean, it could do all the features, but uh, I can't load up a whole like six libraries of all my favorite sounds and then start you know throwing on VST. Mm-hmm. You know, sooner or later it's gonna start choking. And yeah. You have to do like the little purge sounds and you know play that game. Purge yeah, memory, we... you know. But that might be the reason why it won't work, geez, because of that What's low that? RAM. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It. that's why. I... That's, like, like I said, that's why I, I, I knew I, I I know I know the uh, the, the astronaut is is, is more in tune. <laughs> nah, well, people think <laughs> about it like this: me. NPCs can't do video chat. I mean, they can't do. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole different level. So running video, streaming it, that's a whole mm-hmm. different amount of RAM that you need, like to make a picture and audio. We're just talking about doing some cheesy little stems. So like, mm-hmm. the, your phone definitely has more power as far as far as like what com, like a computer machine. You know, like what it could do. Just the fact that you could do FaceTime calls on it and have like streaming video yeah. and you're talking, it's way more memory than like any NPC would have like in this generation for sure. Mm-hmm. That's true. I'm I'm about to I'm about to mess with something like right quick. I got a little sample in Koala and I just I put my joint on airplane mode, so I just wanna... Oh to see if it I... works on neural? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna see if, if it uh if it'll do that. It might though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, only air the right answer. 
<laughs> oh no, it's splitting them. Okay, good, okay. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's splitting them, split them. Good. I'm on airplane mode. Definitely there you go. Mode. You don't need good. it. Good to know. Uh, so I'm gonna look. Perfect. I'm gonna look it up now and see exactly what's going on with the neural network. But I know that's like what how they you know how a lot of AI stems operate anyway. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. same thing is around no, too. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I just, I, I, like I said, I, I wasn't, I wasn't like 100 percent sure. I, like, uh, cause it was, it was a, what's it was an Av- uh, Adam McCree video, and he was, he was talking about cause there's a uh, DJ controller that does it, and it's made by Denon, and I think Denon is within the same company that makes the NPC. That's right there. That's what I got. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Yeah. The, the I got a DDJ one, but um, yeah, it I mean, does the stems, so you can do stems oh, okay. on the on the PC and on the iPad. But the app's called DJ. You know about the DJ app? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. No, I'm talking about no, I'm talking about the DJ like so no, I'm talking about the DJ controller itself like the demo. Oh yeah, it got them. Yeah, it got stems on it. It got the yeah. button so so after you mm-hmm. you hit the button to split stems like if, if it's never split them before, it takes a second to, you know, go through it. But then you can yeah. you can turn on each little part. Got you. Like got playing you. it live, you know what I'm saying? Is it yeah. as clear? Does it sound as clear as Serato? Um, I haven't heard it. So, I haven't I haven't done that like in the last like say four or five months. Um, mm-hmm. DJ is actually pretty good. Serato one is pretty good too. This yeah, I ain't seen one that, that mess with Serato. Yet. Right, Serato. <laughs> none of, none of, so none, none of them online joints is touching Serato. None of the ones I've seen. Virtual DJ does it, and that that um, algorithm DJ. That's the um, one I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Algorithm DJ. DJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually does pretty good. So, um, do you hear artifacts? I'd say you probably do. And the thing about Serato, where they tighten it up, is they kind of like put like a high pass and low pass, you know, some filtering, mm-hmm. like better filtering on it. So after it's, it's separated, it like, doesn't give it that robot, you know. And then yeah. in the club, you could kind of get away with it. If you're, you know, playing it back, yeah, it's iffy. So like, then then it's like, maybe I'll dirty this up on purpose to make it sound more like how I want it to be. Or so I'll make this and put it 8-bit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then I'll use that to play that to my advantage or something. But like sometimes it's not, you know, still like it's still growing. But it, the the last Serato generation is 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 killing. So I'll say, as a person that plays in clubs a lot, the um the DJ the algorithm joint, I could get away with using the stems in the club setting if I'm fucking with filters and shit like you said. If I'm like putting mm. filters on it or whatever, I could get away with it. But I try not mm. to because. You can tell, and on those big speakers, mm-hmm. you definitely could tell, and mm-hmm. that that the artifacts are there. But in the Serato, you can absolutely get away with using that in the club all day long, and you might not know. Only, I, I honestly would say, out of ten songs, only one I could tell I was separating stems. I was so mind blown how good it was doing it. That Serato's a winner, boy. That should be next episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Is it on the iPad? Yeah, so. Just PC. PC no, and Mac. No, so, PC. If it yeah, was on the iPad, yeah. I wish. Yo, if, yo, if it was on the iPad, I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I think it, it would kind of blow a lot of apps out the water. But, mm-hmm. if, but only if the iPad could actually, like... iPad you know, Pro. Work. It'd be like you know iPad I mean? Pro or something like that. It, it'd be a yeah. higher limit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe next, like mm-hmm. this next generation or something might be ready. I mean, but the fact that like um, algorithm could do pretty close, yeah, it would it would just need the extra layer for it to do its job, like how it does. Yeah, it that, is you know? it, it it is close. It's way better than Koala to me. I'm yeah, gonna be honest yeah. with you. The Koala one yeah. sounds horrible to me. Yeah, I was I was put I was throwing low passes on. Right, uh, yeah, that's Koala what I mean. There's workarounds, but in that club setting yeah. with those type of speakers, yeah. I could absolutely not. Even the DJ is very iffy, but on that Serato, oh my God! Like I said, out of ten tracks, only one you could hear the the. Oh, okay, that was a little stem separation. But people drinking don't care anyway, though. As far as playing it, that's the thing about like you care, but like nobody at the bar is like, wait, Mm -hmm. not drunk too, bro. Watch your drunk. Stop playing. Yeah, (laughs) that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, yeah, yeah that right, DJ right. ear, though. You know, that DJ ear, you hear everything differently than everyone else. So, yeah. Yo, more great cool about all stuff, you know. But like I say, you know, mm-hmm. depending on how many drinks in, you probably don't care. Especially if you're going to stop moving your feet. Definitely. Yeah, as long, long, as, long as the music is bumping, don't, don't, don't nobody care. Yeah. You know. That's a fact. 